Alright, big wash of babies here. Give me the water. This is a baby. <laughs> There's a cutie baby over there. Girl, your hair is so long today. All done. is being so weird and just like slowly falling anyway it is saturday morning we are vlogging this weekend and i was really questioning myself whether or not i should vlog this weekend because it is a weird weird weekend at least for me it is a weird weekend because grant is working out of town for about a week we're like halfway in we're not even halfway into it we're like a few days into it i wish we were halfway into it i miss him so much it is so weird not having him here this is definitely the longest we've been apart since we've been married like a little over five years definitely the longest he's been gone since lucy was born and obviously like He's even more missed. His absence is even more apparent because he helped so much with Lucy. And we just miss him so much, but like he got a really good opportunity and obviously I want him to take that, but we're having fun. We've got plans for this weekend. We're gonna get to see the babies today, the twins. I'm so excited. And then tomorrow I'm gonna see my parents. We got a lot going on. I definitely say we're feeling loose goose, but we've got a lot going on. We're gonna have some fun. And right now we're about to go on a little mission. I use the term mission lightly, but I'm gonna bring you along through everything. This is throwing cups right now. <laughs> Let's go. Please excuse my absolutely blasting AC because it's already 99 degrees outside. It is so hot and like I said, I use the term mission very loosely. Right now we are at Joanne's, wait, Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. <laughs> Basically for me and Lucy, this is like taking a walk. This is an indoor walk for us because outside it is just too hot and we're just gonna go browse around a little bit. And actually I am kind of on a mission because I saw someone online a while back say that they found some like really cute strawberry stuff at Joanne's and I feel like I probably missed the boat because I've seen everybody else has like their fall stuff out right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it, but I might as well try. Maybe we'll be on clearance miraculously. I'm working on a secret project right now. <laughs> it's not a secret project. I'm working on Lucy's birthday. I cannot believe her birthday is coming up. I'm starting to sweat. I'm just having my AC down a little bit. We'll see what they got, who knows. shopping who's that oh my gosh i'm immediately distracted look at this cute christmas disney fabric y'all i think i need to learn how to sew so i can make lucy a disney christmas dress <laughs> it looks like i was right there's so much halloween stuff <gasps> and it's so cute oh my gosh i've never shopped for holiday stuff at joann's and i think i've been missing out Look at these guys. Okay, I'm completely forgetting my mission right now. All right, I think this is the clearance area and I'm seeing no strawberry stuff. I just put Lucy down for her nap. She was so tired. I hope she gets a really good nap this afternoon. And I wanna show you my outfit. It's a new combination. And also what I got at Joann's. I only got one thing, but it's so cute. So I am obsessed with these tops. You've probably seen me wear them before, but I don't know if I've ever talked about them. They're like my shirt of the summer. I have it in like four different colors. I love the material. It's so like lightweight, easy to wear. You can dress it up. You can also wear a bra with it. 
very important. So cute. I have it in blue, black, off-white, and lavender. And then these pants, obsessed, truly obsessed. They come in a bunch of colors, but this is the only one that I have. Really high-waisted, super comfy, casual. They're pretty cropped on me. They probably won't be as cropped on you if you get them. I'm just really tall. I just think they're like so flattering and casual and like easy breezy. I don't know. I just feel like this combination is so cute, but like not in the usual way for me. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, let me show you what I got. I think the strawberries were long gone by the time I got there. I got this cute little ghost candy bowl. All their little ghost stuff was so cute and I really had to hold myself back, but this I could not resist. Okay, on to the part of the vlog no one asked for. It's arts and crafts time. And I'm sorry, I'm whispering, but she just really, really needs a good nap and I don't wanna wake her up because I'm vlogging. So I made this the other day, or was it yesterday? I don't know. The days blur together, it's crazy. But it was like, just I was just messing around. It's like a rough draft and I wanna do the real thing today. So earlier this week, I don't even know what train of thought I was on, but I was looking up affirmations for kids on YouTube. And I found this really cute video with like this little happy cloud and affirmations. And I'll link it down below if you wanna see it because it was my inspiration. And I was just like, oh, this is so cute. I wanna like write these down to remember them. And I was like, well, maybe I could like make something and put it in Lucy's room. And then we could look at them and read them together every day. And then it became this. And this is like the rough draft. I was just like messing around to see what works. And I don't really like how it turned out, but I do like some things. Like I really like this one. So, I'm gonna do it again and maybe just do different colors. I don't know. I'm torn on if I should do the eyelashes or not. crazy, but I'm just gonna move on. Okay, I think I'm done. Definitely not perfect, but it's pretty good and I'll get the job done. All right, so we just got over to my sister Mary's house and we're gonna hang out for the afternoon and have dinner with them. And more importantly, I'm gonna be starting my new career as a baby photographer because she asked me last week if I could come over and bring a camera and help take some photos of the twins and some outfits that my mom got them before they grow out of them because I think they're like newborn, maybe preemie, I don't know. They've grown a lot in the past couple of weeks, so we gotta take some pictures of these babies while they're teeny teeny tiny they're so cute so excited to see them so excited for my new career and also excited for lucy to get to play with sam because she loves sam y'all already know hello mr luke you look so peaceful Look at these little hands. What's going on over here? Are you so excited? <coughs> drifting off in the middle of the chaos. Look at how precious these little outfits are and then these blankets. We've got Nick in his outfit looking good. Here comes Luke. Looking good in the neighborhood. You ready for pictures? <laughs> Is your tongue working hard? Okay, let's do it. 
Hello. I said, do you want to call daddy? And she hit yes. I do not know. I would say it was an accident, but I'll take it. She didn't hit no. No. She said, yeah, that's called her daddy. Tell daddy, ah. <laughs> This little face. <gasps> yeah, I'm smooshing my kisses. Feel like I did a terrible job vlogging while we were over at Mary's because it was just like non-stop baby juggling like Lucy, Sam, the twins like it is non-stop over there like obviously when you have new babies, new twins it's it's a wild ride but like twin moms, twin parents in general you guys are just like on another level it is amazing including Mary and Jerry J, they are on another level of parenting. It is so amazing. And those babies are so sweet and so cute. Luke was not having it with that outfit. Is my camera falling again? This is so weird. Loves to be in his swaddle. So putting on his little cute outfit, even though he looked absolutely adorable, he did not like being out of his swaddle and out of his little comfort zone. Nick was taking it like a champ. I got a lot of pictures of Nick, but not so many of Luke. We had so much fun juggling the babies. Me and Lucy love getting to spend time with Sam too. Sam is literally, he's so cute, obviously, but like he is so sweet and he's absolutely hysterical and he loves making people laugh so it's like non-stop he's just so funny i laughed so much and he's so sweet actually my sister just texted me and she goes sam heard something outside and said leanne car leanne where are you <laughs> he's just so cute and he just says the funniest things Lucy was just having a blast getting to spend time with him. She just like cracks up at everything he does. I will say, I think my career as a baby photographer, I might need to rethink that one. <laughs> I don't know if I got any good photos. There was always one baby that wasn't into it. They're both adorable, crying or not, but I, I don't know if I have the touch. We did our best and it definitely took way longer than we thought and we just kind of like hung out and played for a long time too. Had dinner, got home, and we had to kind of like zoom through nighttime routine. Lucy was super tired because she had so much fun over there and bottle, FaceTime with Grant before she went to bed. She's asleep and then I just had to like keep moving and do the dishes, do the dishwasher, make bottles because like I just knew if I sit down, <laughs> I'm gonna feel so tired and I'm not gonna wanna get up. And when there's a lot of things to do at night and especially, obviously Grant's not here to help out and he usually helps out with nighttime stuff, especially like definitely washing dishes. <laughs> he always washes the dishes and I appreciate that so much. It's just like little things, but like especially at night, like when you're tired, not having that help, and not having like, I don't know, like we just always spend time together at night and have fun watching our shows and talking and everything. So like, I especially miss him at night and I sleep horribly without him. Probably that goes for like everyone, but I am not a person that I'm like, oh, I just want the whole bed to myself. Like, no, I miss him so much and I sleep terribly when he's not here. I just need to wash my face, get ready for bed. I think I'm gonna read a little, maybe watch a vlog call Grant back so we can talk a little bit before I go to bed. I'm so tired. I just need to move in the right direction right now. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. How are you, sweet baby? Are you ready for milk? You wanna see Luna? Yeah. Say, I'm too distracted with Miss Luna right now. Okay, so I was just making my smoothie and I saw a few comments, like a surprising number of comments asking what I put in my smoothies because I showed a little bit of it in the last vlog. So I'll show you really quick. I know this is not going to be interesting for everyone, but for the people that ask, I want to show you ice berries, like a mixed berry, frozen berries. 
And then I do half of a protein shake. Oh, I'm not showing you. Here we go, let me show you. More protein, a little flavor, a little everything. Next up, I have this like flaxseed, chia seed kind of mix stuff. And I use this container to keep it fresh in the refrigerator and I just kind of sprinkle some in. Next up, I have a shot of espresso. This is something I really usually just do on the weekends. It's not something I do throughout the week, but I love the flavor. Now I'm gonna add water up to this line. Okay, now star of the show, this protein powder. It is so good. It's super sweet, just in case you don't love super sweet, but I do. And then I do like two, three squirts of MCT oil. I know, it's a lot of things. Grant likes to say this is my potion, and it totally is. I know it's a lot of things, but I really like it. It tastes really good. You get a lot of protein, and I just really like it. All right, super quick OOTD before we run out the door. We're kind of matching yet again, blue and white. We're about to go to church. This is a new dress that I got from Amazon, and it's so cute, and I love the little ties on the shoulders, their bows. I can't really show you that well. And then Lucy is wearing a little romper that she got for Easter from her lolly. It is so cute. I'm so glad it still fits her. It's like one of my favorite things she has. And then these shoes I got from Nordstrom like a million years ago. I don't think they still have them. Yes, ma'am, are you ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're back home from church and we've got a little downtime before bottle and nap and all of that business. So I got everything out from our most recent KiwiCo Panda Crate. And actually this portion of the vlog is sponsored by KiwiCo. Thank you so much. And if you haven't heard of KiwiCo before, it's actually a subscription, but you can also purchase individual crates if you wanna just try it out. They send out two months worth of activities and information and everything supports development and growth for your kids based on their age range or development. They actually offer a bunch of different subscription lines based on age range. We go for the Panda Crate because it's perfect for kids age zero months to 36 months. And for this crate, we got the bead maze with sections on the bottom, so helpful. The coin box, you drop the coins in the top the busy block with lots of different fine motor elements all over and then also the mirror puzzle which lucy loves okay and last this is the wonder play guide this is for adults explains all the activities in the crate talks about development and gives you even more play ideas for home the kiwico panda crate subscription is so perfect for us because we always get to learn and try new things together and everything is great quality and it's super super convenient because it comes right to your door if you guys want to check out kiwico shop around a little bit go to the link in my description down below and definitely use my code leanne to get 50 percent off your first month are you ignoring me good girl all right so lucy is snoozing right now i had lunch and cleaned up a little bit <laughs> It is so hard to clean and try to be quiet and not wake a baby up. I like deal with it every day because it's the perfect time to try to tidy up. I wanted to check in real quick before she wakes up and tell you what we're doing next. We are gonna go to the Abilities Expo. My parents are gonna come over here and then we're all gonna go in one car. So this weekend, I think starting Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, this is the last day. It was like the tail end of it called the Abilities Expo, and there are booths, workshops, activities, all having to do with living with disabilities. And I honestly have no idea what to expect. I've never been before. I looked at I looked at like what's gonna be there online a little bit. Who knows if anything is gonna be helpful for us, but I just wanna see what's out there. Like, like it's hard to explain what living this whole life is. It's like you're constantly just like picking up breadcrumbs and learning where you can. And you never know if you ask this question to this person and this person, you could get two different answers, but you could learn two different things and both are helpful. So, so I just basically try to look into everything I find and hopefully I learn something and hopefully we learned something today. I'm so glad my parents are coming with me. I really wish Grant could be here. Like I put this on the calendar months ago, but it just couldn't make it work. So I'm really glad my parents are coming, really getting there at like the tail end. So hopefully everything is still open and hopefully we can see some cool things. Yeah, favorite person, huh? Yeah. Got Lolly and Pop with me. But look at these bikes.
this goes behind the bike, this one goes in front of the bike. But um, newly available commercially on the market. What's this for The gray buckles to each other. So these are for like a shoulder harness. All right, so obviously we're back home. We are both exhausted. Lucy Bug is definitely exhausted, but we had a really good time going to the Abilities Expo with my parents. We met so many people. I actually am really glad we went at the very tail end of it because it wasn't busy and we got to have like longer conversations with people, which was really helpful. I'm really appreciating everything that we learned and definitely when we're like looking at vehicles, if we need to make modifications on a vehicle in the future, I feel like that is the place to go to learn. I mean, that's definitely very far in the future. That's not something that you get to see in real life. Or really, a lot of that stuff is not stuff that you get to see a ton of different options for. So I'm really glad that we went, and I'm so glad my parents came with me. They always love getting the opportunity to spend time with Lucy, of course. And we went out to dinner afterward. We went to Grace's. They've told me about that place so many times. I had never been before, and it was really, really, really good. If you're in the Houston area, I definitely recommend it oh my gosh I'm honestly still sweating I feel like I never cooled down from the first walk through the parking lot over there it was literally 103 degrees so we all got so so hot I feel like I'm very wilted and then when we got home we had kind of an emergency bath situation so Lucy's already ready in her pajamas and honestly it's like 6 30 right now I'm ready to put my pajamas on too and we're warming up a bottle we are good to go start our nighttime routine, even though we started it a little bit early today. Oh, I do not want to end this vlog without telling you guys a little bit about the STX BP1 Summit. So I told you guys in the last vlog that we had that coming up the following weekend in Denver, and it was amazing. We heard from tons of speakers, researchers, doctors, parents, most importantly, parents. I just appreciate getting to hear from other parents that are either like in the same life stage as us or with older kids adults and just getting to ask them questions hearing about their experiences like i feel like you can learn so much more from parents than you can from anyone else like living it is priceless and getting to be around so many families that get it is just amazing and everyone that put on the event just couldn't have done it better and there was this one session where it was like a parent panel and so many people were talking and speaking up and asking questions and giving their experience and I just I wanted that to go on for like hours literally even though it was at the tail end of the conference and I was like okay I'm not ready for the conference to be over because this is so helpful and so interesting like talking about school talking about IEPs and stuff like that and it's just all so interesting to me and i have so much to learn <laughs> like going to this expo today i just have so much to learn and i'm so eager to learn because i just want to find the best things for lucy oh i totally did not explain what she's sitting in right now if you follow me on instagram it's leanne says over there um i talked about this and i showed it and i linked it um this is a bella's bumbas it's a non-profit and they make these seats. It's like a, it's for people that need help with mobility. This is just like a regular seat that you could go buy. We actually have one of these that we use as her high chair right now, but they add the wheels, they add wheels on the bottom, they add this foot plate. They do it completely free for the families and all they ask is for shipping costs to be covered. It's just incredible. Their story is amazing. I will link their site down below is not like a sponsored thing or anything. I just think what they're doing is so cool. And maybe if you know somebody that would benefit from that, maybe they don't know about it. Um, definitely check it out. Um, they're fully supported by donations and what they do is just amazing. And watching kids zoom around in their little bellows bubbas is so cool. And we have been practicing putting our hands on the wheels and trying to push it haven't started pushing it yet but we're practicing with it and i think lucy just likes get it to sit in it and like kind of roll it back and forth you like it huh 
Lucy has such good posture and I don't know where she got that and it certainly wasn't from me. Okay, I feel like I got distracted and did not finish talking about the summit. It was just amazing, 10 out of 10. I mean, I know it probably does not apply to you. My, my review is probably not that helpful for you, but it was just so amazing getting to talk to so many people and meet so many people and just have Lucy see so many other kids. And it's just, I can't, I can't even say how helpful and how awesome it is to get to get together. And I'm so grateful that they have the summit. Um, a lot of really good news, a lot of exciting things going on. And Miss Lucy is so tired. Yeah, you had a good time with Pop, huh? Yes, you did. She loves my dad so much. I feel like they just have like a special link. Like the moment she sees that he's in the room, she just gets the biggest smile and it's so sweet and it's so wonderful. Yeah, we love them. <laughs> appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Definitely subscribe because I'm going to continue putting out new videos and I see y'all's comments about the get ready with me and I can totally make that happen. Oh my goodness. Are you getting Luna B? We gotta be so gentle. Yes, we have to be so gentle with Luna B. All right. I think I've rambled enough. We've got a bottle to drink. We got a FaceTime dad. You want to say bye? Thanks, I love you, bye.